Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I have done a detailed analysis of CSR net exam. I have done topic wise, year wise and those important topics which can easily fetch you good marks in CSR net exam. So I have done that video already and that was uploaded few days back and you guys gave a very good response on that video. I'm very thankful to you. Thank you so much for liking it. And one more thing that in that video you guys requested to do similar analysis for the gate exam. I was trying to uh, like uh, compile all the data and all the information which I have. So I have finally done that and here's the video. So in this video I have done a topic wise analysis of previous 10 years of gate exam from 2010 till to 2021. So it is technically 20, uh, not 10 but 11 years of gate exam. We have tried to analyze different topics from organic, inorganic and physical which topics can fetch you good marks and uh, like the video is made in such a way so that you can decide that which topics you have to focus more on so that you get good marks in the exam okay now one thing which you have to make sure or which you have to understand very carefully that in csr net exam the video was more helpful because there you have to leave some topics you don't have to do all the topics for in the exam because you have a lot of options in the question paper right but in gate exam you don't have any option in the gate uh, in the question paper you have to do all the questions everything is compulsory over there so while preparation you cannot leave the topics okay so don't consider this video like don't take this video and just leave the topics which don't have much weightage you have to study those topics as well but why this video is going to help you it is going to help you to understand that which topics you need to focus more okay and which topics you have to give more time so time management for the time management purpose and for uh, like for giving more focus on a particular topic you can consider this video and watch this video till end okay and more very important thing that if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed the channel yet please do consider subscribing it and now without wasting any time let's continue with our video Right, so before going and before starting any, any analysis, there is a quick disclaimer. The disclaimer is that the analysis which I am doing must be only used for the reference purpose and the marks distribution in the exam might vary. Okay, so in the actual exam, the marks distribution might vary. And one more important thing that from 2021, that is the previous gate exam, the pattern has been changed and the MSQ types of questions were added and eligibility of the exam has been relaxed to bachelor's final year and that's why the exam level or the question paper level was way low than the usual gate level so that's why because we don't have much data from the previous changed pattern of the exam so we will consider that along with the other year exams and we will have a overall data okay so we have done a overall analysis from 2010 till 2021 okay so these two things you have to keep in mind that since the pattern has been changed, the level of questions was actually decreased or it has been uh, brought down in 2021. Whether it will be repeated in 2022, we don't know, okay, because we don't have much data to say anything about that. Okay, coming back to the thing, first thing which I will show you is the units, unit names and the marks which they carry from 2010 till 2021 and also you have an average marks table. So you can see over here all the all these like yellow uh, like the one which are shown in the yellow color are actually your uh, physical chemistry topics then these white ones are your like coordination chemistry and also it comes under your inorganic chemistry and these green ones are your organic chemistry and at the end you can see there is a reasoning and aptitude portion so that carries around 15 marks in the exam so remember the whatever analysis we have done is only for these 85 marks okay which consists of organic inorganic and physical we have not done that like we have just excluded the reasoning and aptitude part because that is common every year it will be asked for 15 marks okay so this is the one you can get this pdf the link is there in the description of this video you can download this particular pdf from the link given over there all right Com coming back to the analysis the first analysis we have done is for the physical chemistry portion now here these are the topics now you will uh, like find out if you have watched the previous video of CSR net you will see that the, uh, the questions or you can say that the number of topics is decreased that is because the number of questions are also less here in CSR net exam you have 120 questions in the paper but in gate you only have 60 questions okay out of that uh, you have 10 questions of general aptitude so you only have 50 questions from the exam from the topic 
so that's why the number of question is less so that's why topics are also confined so atomic structure and quantum chemistry is merged in the sing single one then thermodynamics and statistical thermodynamics is also merged in a single uh, topic and then kinetic surface and polymer are also merged in a single unit so there are one two three four five six seven uh, units and you can see that the highest uh, marks or highest weightage units are your atomic structure and quantum chemistry and thermodynamics so physical chemistry is all about these important topics now if you do your quantum chemistry and atomic structure and if you do thermodynamics in detail and with that if you add any of the topic let's say uh, electrochemistry or equilibria or kinetics any of the topic if you if you just uh, add that out you are actually covering more than 50 percent of the exam right more than 50 percent of the syllabus of physical chemistry so these are the most important topics atomic structure and uh, quantum chemistry and thermodynamics complete thermodynamics now one thing which is guaranteed that every year you get a question from electrochemistry so don't miss out electrochemistry that is also one of the important topic okay now among kinetic surface and polymer uh, there are chances you will get one 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 questions from all of them sometimes uh, polymer questions are not asked so polymer is not that consistent but yeah kinetics and surface are consistent topics they are asked every year same goes for e equilibria it's not that consistent but yeah you can uh, look upon that topic and group theory is also not that consistent okay some years it is like uh, it was being asked for some years then from the past few years it has not been asked so you can go to this table and see that in group theory uh, like how they have been asked like one marker one marker two marker and it was not asked for consecutively three years from 16 2016 to 2018 so considering all that thing group theory is a topic which can give you either one or two marks so it's not a consistent topic same goes for solid state okay so this is a quick analysis of physical chemistry uh, let's go to the inorganic chemistry part now in an or like in inorganic chemistry the majority portion or the king of the inorganic chemistry for gate is coordination chemistry it can easily fetch you around eight to nine marks and then comes your organometallic compounds which gives you around five marks so all in all if you cover coordination chemistry and organometallic chemistry only but just by doing these two these two topics you are covering more than 50 percent of your inorganic chemistry syllabus you can see that these two topics are are like they are containing the majority of the portion and if you combine main group element like you have done approximately complete of your inorganic chemistry right so these three are the major topics in the inorganic chemistry from where the questions are asked are talking about radioactivity then your chemical bonding analytical chemistry and instrumental methods these topics are not that consistent the most consistent ones and the most weightage the ones which will give you good marks are coordination chemistry organometallic compounds and uh, main group elements okay these three even bio and organic chemistry is quite consistent every year you will get at least one question of one marks uh, but yeah these three are most important ones from the inorganic chemistry all right okay the next uh, one is for the organic chemistry portion so this is for organic chemistry now here you will see that in the in the pie chart you have majority of the portion covered by reaction mechanism and organic synthesis these two topics are like the heart of your organic chemistry uh, top or organic chemistry syllabus apart from these two surprisingly that this spectroscopy also covers a very high weightage now if you see the csr net exam spectroscopy is also important from that for that as well but in the gate exam it carries very high weightage okay so if you just do a uh, reaction mechanism organic uh, organic uh, synthesis and spectroscopy if you just do these three topics you are doing more than 60 to 70 percent of the organic chemistry syllabus right so just by doing these three and if you include like pericyclic and photochemistry so you are done with 80 percent of the syllabus so it's up, up to you how much and which topics you are selecting but the majority of the topic from organic chemistry portion is reaction mechanism organic synthesis and spectroscopy right okay uh, this is overall marks weightage now this chart or this pie chart will help you to understand that which topics from overall like in all the units whichever units are mentioned from organic inorganic physical which units are going to be the most scoring one so as i said spectroscopy is the most scoring one then coordination compound is the most scoring one then reaction mechanism organic synthesis then atomic structure and quantum chemistry and thermodynamics and stat statistical thermodynamics so these are the topics which are going to give you the highest marks or they like if you just count them so one two three four and they are actually going to cover around 50 percent of your complete syllabus so 
your whole syllabus is into only these circle topics organic synthesis reaction mechanism spectroscopy coordination uh, like quantum chemistry and atomic structure and thermodynamics complete obviously apart from that if you add any of the topic you are increasing the chance or you are filling up the gaps right so this is a uh, overall average marks weightage of all the topics you can check it out the least ones are like radioactivity and nuclear chemistry then comes your analytical instrumental methods these are the topics which are very less asked okay all right uh, okay one more thing that organometallic is also from like inorganic portion you can add these two topics so these are the topics important and that's what it is okay let's have one more chart to understand it in much better way in the form of marks that which topic can give fetch you very high marks in the exam so you can see that among all the topics the one which is asked most is your coordination chemistry now generally when we study for gate exam it is said that physical chemistry is the one of which you have to focus more on more questions are asked from physical chemistry but if you analyze the paper you will find out that it's not like that questions are actually equally asked from all of them uh, the only thing is the questions from physical chemistry are quite typical they are not that easy as you get them in your um, CSI net exam and also physical chemistry is asked in NAT type questions also so that makes things little dicey over there right so fine so the highest weightage which you will get is from coordination chemistry then comes your reaction mechanism and then comes your organic synthesis and after that you have spectroscopy so these are the topics which are going to fetch you the highest marks and then of course you can do the topics from physical chemistry as well now see what happens that when you give the csi sorry when you give the gate exam most of the people are prepared with the topics of uh, like inorganic chemistry and many of the many of the students are prepared with the topic of organic chemistry what they are not prepared of is with the topic of physical chemistry that's why I, psychologically it feels like the physical chemistry is the most asked one or it's the most difficult one but it is not like that okay you can see from the analysis as such uh, one more very important thing uh, for those students who leave organic chemistry for their preparation of CSI net exam for gate you cannot leave organic chemistry as such you can see organic chemistry is giving you so high marks okay especially reaction mechanism synthesis and spectroscopy now people uh, like are little afraid of organic chemistry uh, because it is actually difficult for CSI if I just consider CSI net exam paper is difficult but for gate the questions are not that difficult you just check out the previous years of question paper you will find out that questions are very straightforward they are not that difficult as compared to CSR net so you should not get afraid of organic chemistry portion especially for gate and you should prepare them because here the competition is in such way that you cannot miss out the topics as such and as you can see that all the questions will be compulsory you cannot leave or like you don't have choice here to leave the questions right so make sure that you prepare every topic especially organic chemistry if you are leaving that for since like till now consider them also uh, in your preparation and also for those who don't study physical chemistry you cannot miss out those things right here if you add up they are easily going to give you around 20 marks so you are you are excluding 20 marks from your uh, overall uh, exam so that's not good okay so 20 to 25 marks you are just neglecting out of 85 and that is going to harm a lot in your ranking okay so you will not be able to get a good rank if you are not preparing organ uh, sorry physical chemistry so you have to choose the topics uh, which are easy if you are like let's say you are good at organic and inorganic you are not good at physical chemistry choose those topics from or from the physical chemistry which are easy and can fetch you quite a few decent marks okay for example you can see solid state can give you around one to two marks group theory can give you around one marks so these two are very easy topics you can cover them same goes for your uh, electrochemistry that will give you around three to four marks so these are the topics which are easy and they are scoring too right so choose topics like that so the, the motive of this video is to make you realize make you understand that you cannot leave the topic as such every topic is important you have to make your choice okay so these were the analysis these were the topics and these are the ways in which I thought that it will become more easy for you to understand it will look much pleasant for your eyes to see upon okay so that's it for this video I hope you guys understood I hope you guys liked it so try to utilize whatever information you are getting from this video and try to use it in the best way possible and try to like apply in your preparation in your revision whatever you are preparing for try to apply the information which you are getting over here right 
share this video with your friends and that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much